Okay, I am in the bathroom, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to take um, my brushes and I'm going to deep clean them. I'm going to show you using the new Saint brush cleaner, so you're not going to see my face after this. Okay, so it comes in this cute little black um, thing, uh, jar, has a plastic here. Then it has, this is the brush little pad. So I'll put this over like my fingers and swirl like that, okay? And here's the soap. Pop it out and you've got this little container you're gonna hold it in. All right, so what I'm gonna do actually though is I'm gonna wet the bottom of it with warm water and I'm gonna put it on the little thing. I'm gonna do it this way, like this, okay? Then I'm gonna take a brush all right, and here is this, you can see how dirty this eyeshadow brush is. I'm going to wet it, and I'm going to just swirl it around like this. Now, you do not want to submerge your brushes in water, meaning I don't want to do my sink like full of water and then just dunk my brushes. That's not going to be good for them because it can loosen the glue inside there holding the bristles in, and I certainly don't want to do that, all right? But look how clean, look how clean. Whoops, sorry, that's my bad. Ah! Here, I'll put it, okay? So here again, this is the end, that's dirty. I'm gonna take it, wet that end, and just roll it around in there. Now, if I need some more, I can rinse this off, get some more, like this. I'll do it where y'all can see it. I'm not left-handed, but I seem to be using my left hand a good bit here. Okay, and then just continue. Now, this is not gonna dry quickly, obviously, like our spray cleaner would, because it's getting the bristles completely wet, but, this is something I would suggest doing like once a month or once every couple of weeks, especially if you use the same brushes over and over. Like this eyeshadow brush I use a lot, so I'm gonna wanna clean it more often than I would say my buff brush because I use it very rarely, okay? But, so for a day-to-day -day cleaning or just to get some color off real quick, maybe that you got on there, I would use the spray cleaner but this is something I would do um, at least once a month, if not more, depending upon which brush you're doing. Okay, oops, drop that in the sink, all right? And you can just continue until they, it's clear, all right? Then I'm gonna make sure that I get those brushes with no soap residue left in them. Kind of make sure the handle doesn't have any residue on it. Then I'm just going to tap out the excess and lay that just out on a towel to dry. Now this is what they look like brand new. I haven't used this one, okay? And then, but this is what happens when you use them all the time. So you can see the difference, all right? So here we go again. I'm gonna take this. I'm just gonna put it on my fingers and just wet the brush and start scrubbing around. It's gonna be super easy to do. It's not gonna take long. Ooh, this one's bad, isn't it? I need more stuff on that. And just continue to scrubby scrub. And you can see all that gunk is coming out of there. So, the little scrubby pad makes it easy. Okay. Wow, that one really needs it. Now, I have also seen people wet the brush, go into the cleaner like this, and pick up some soap, and then start scrubbing. Either way is fine. I don't, 
know that it matters. One way is not going to work better than the other. It's just because you're getting to the same conclusion. You're getting soap on it. I just went in and put this on the soap and wet the soap. All right, so I'm going to continue this and I will um, show you what the brushes look like when I get finished. Okay, so you can see they are clean. I'll hold them up against my black shirt. You can see they're still wet because we put them under a lot of water. So we're going to just lay them out to dry. You're going to try to get them, you know, get out as much excess water as you can and then lay them out to dry. Now, this I just rinsed with, you know, hand soap and I'll let it dry. But the soap, here's what you need to do. I rinsed mine with some warm water just to make sure made sure I let it drain out and then I'm going to leave the top off of it while the soap dries out because otherwise you're going to just have a big wet glump of soap the next time you go to use it you know because it's going to stay damp in there so I'm just going to leave it and let it dry as well and then that's it so if you're interested let me know uh, I am going to try to wash my sponge with it later um, I don't have time right now but um, I'm going to see how that works as well so I will let y'all know about that, but if you have any questions, just comment uh, soap below, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions and get you hooked up.